bit looser and a bit more carefree, you know, it's kind of um, labelled as the hippie town, so not not that it, it really is, but I mean there's, there's I guess a bit more laid back vibe and people are the first to dance um, in the Fremantle scene, like I, I find that you often have the crowd on side a lot quicker than in other places just because people have that mentality of music and dancing and that kind of happy, carefree lifestyle, you know. Fremantle and Perth are kind of completely different music scenes, well, in terms of the, the audience. Uh, in terms of the bands, I think there's a large crossover between bands that can play in Perth and Freo, but uh, Freo punters and Perth punters tend to stay pretty separate, and if you're a touring band, you can kind of go and play in both markets. I think they're probably a bit more adventurous, and they're prepared to go and see something that they might not have heard of or hadn't seen before, and they'll, they'll, they'll give it a go. I like that it's diverse and opens its arms to uh, different people. Norfolk Basement is a great venue for for lots of different um, genres and lots of different good nights out. I think um, probably community would be the best part. It, it seems to be a much closer tight-knit scene than any part of Perth really. I find that Fremantle uh, it is traditionally much more of a roots music kind of market. Um, they take a little bit of convincing to try and get them into something else and uh, yeah if you get if you put something unusual in a free metal space it, it will there's a possibility that it'll work but you've got to be out got to think is it something that I could convince a hippie to go and see <laughs> and if you if, if the answer is yes then you probably can do it in free metal if we go over to North Rio, um, we can do Mojo's that. Is, <laughs> Mojo's is definitely one of my, yeah, my, my local, a great bar to hang out in. I think what I like is the young bands that are coming out of Fremantle, and, and you know, you can maybe wander into a venue somewhere and see something that that is maybe maybe confronting, but maybe uh, something you haven't seen and it's interesting and and fun. And you know, sometimes you don't like it, sometimes you do, but you'll see something that that is a bit different. Thomas mentioned yesterday that. Um, Basically, if you can produce something that hippies will like, you're onto a winner in Fremantle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I don't know, just danceable and, and groovy. I think they're the, the key elements. Um, just you know, enough soul in the mix. Doesn't matter what music you're doing, as long as it's soul music, it's it's going to have some kind of substance.